happy What's Up Wednesday, everyone. I'm Anna, one of the teaching and learning consultants here at Trefera, and we are talking about AI again today. As teachers really start to realize that AI can have on their lesson planning and their time management, even idea generation, I have been getting more and more questions about how can we use AI creatively in our classroom? What are some ways that we can use it to really help us teach? And so today I'm going to touch on five of my favorite and maybe unexpected ways to use AI in the classroom. And when I talk about AI, I'm talking about generative AI. So, you know, using it with ChatGPT or Google Bard or tools like that. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. And this first tip is quite possibly my very favorite one of them all. You know, the modification and extension of assignments and activities. So using AI to help with differentiation is really a game changer. You know, as teachers, we all have students with different ability levels in their classrooms, and AI can just really help you save a ton of time modifying lessons for learners who may be struggling with a concept, and then extending lessons for students who may have already mastered that concept, either once the instruction has begun or even before the instruction. And then you think, you know, what am I supposed to do with this child? They already know all of this. So for instance, I could ask ChatGPT to create a 10 question assignment aligned to third grade Illinois Common Core state standards about three digit subtraction. So that would be a great assignment or assessment that can go out to, you know, most of the class that, you know, are learning it at a normal rate that you would expect in third grade. But we all have struggling learners in our classrooms and we all have those students who master the content pretty quickly. So I could then on that same assignment instruct the AI tool that I'm using to modify the assignment and include hints for learners that may be struggling with that concept. So it's going to insert hints. It's going to, you know, tell them where to start the process and just give them ideas to get them going and give them a little bit more confidence. I could also instruct the AI to extend the assignment for students who have already mastered this concept. And it will give some higher level thinking questions um, beyond the basic one that you generated for the whole class. So in both instances, it's going to generate appropriate content for all of those different situations and different types of learners. Another idea of using AI in the classroom is for bell ringers and exit slips, you know, for formative assessments or even just for fun. So you can go to your AI tool and insert standards, text passages, chapters from a book, um, specific topics that you're working on, and easily create lists of ideas for these quick assessments. So, for example, I could ask ChatGPT to Create a list of five exit slip questions for the first six chapters of the book Holes by Lewis Sacker that relate to the different character traits exhibited up to this point. So I can get really specific with it, with the character traits, um, or I can keep it general. Um, it's going to generate a great list of questions that relate back to, you know, whatever it is that you're working on with your students. I also like to use AI with these bell ringers and exit slips to incorporate SEL, social emotional learning, more frequently in my time that I spend with my students. That's hard to do. Um, so AI to the rescue again, an easy way to do this is to create bell ringer questions. An example might be to ask AI to create five bell ringer questions appropriate for fifth grade students that are aligned to CASEL standards. And that can be an easy way for you really to start incorporating SEL into your classroom more often. Idea number three is add a STEM or project-based learning idea to whatever you're teaching. This is another absolute favorite of mine. I taught STEM for several years, and in my school there was really so much excitement for STEM with both students and teachers, but you know, I was the STEM specialist, so I could use all my time to focus on really building and creating high quality STEM activities. And a lot of classroom teachers just don't have that time or that knowledge base to be able to do that. So again, this is where you can use 
AI to help you with that. All a teacher would need to do is enter the topic that you're working on in the chat box. Um, you could include the standards. Uh, you could include, you know, really anything you want. You could even include materials that you have on hand and ask the chatbot to list STEM and project-based learning ideas for that specific topic. I always ask, like to ask for a list because you can go back and get more information on the ones that catch your interest. But I like to have, you know, all the choices out in front of me to begin with. So, for example, you can ask, create a list of 10 STEM or project-based learning activities for sixth grade students learning about ancient civilization. And the inspiration that you're going to gain from some of those ideas is really so much fun and so exciting. Idea number four, this is kind of a silly one, create jokes or riddles on a topic. You know, younger students will think these are hilarious. The older students, they're going to probably pretty likely roll their eyes and maybe groan at it. But either way, you have some more engagement. Starting a lesson with an attention grabber like a joke or a riddle is really just a quick and easy way to bring the class together. So for example, I asked ChatGPT to create a joke about chromosomal inheritance that was appropriate for high school students. And one of the choices that it gave me was, why was the gene feeling confident? And the kids ask why? And the answer was, because it knew it had good inheritance. So, you know, that's pretty grown worthy for sure, but still, a fun thing to touch on with your students. And last but not least, we have choice board ideas. I am a huge proponent of fostering student agency and allowing kids to have voice and choice in how they learn best. I have been really a longtime believer of choice boards and the positive impact that they have on students by giving them some control of how they show what they know. But I also know it's easy to get into a rut and I would simply recycle a lot of the same ideas on my choice boards over and over. And, you know, after a while, it's not new and exciting to students. You know, they catch on that, oh, well, this is just the same stuff. I've already done this and it loses a little bit of its luster. So AI to the rescue again, you know, simply add a grade level topic, maybe even the standards you're focusing on and ask AI to help you come up with ideas. So I tried a prompt um, that was create 10 ideas for a choice board based off of fourth grade math, common core standards and geometry. And it generated a whole big list of different ideas for a choice board. And some of them I would gladly and easily and enthusiastically take and use. And some of them would be like, eh, I don't know if that would work for my students, but you can always ask it to create even more. So you know, the ideas and the inspiration are really endless. But there you have it. Those are my five, five of my favorite creative ways to use AI in the classroom. Um, stay tuned. There might be a part two to this list coming, tr coming soon. But in the meantime, uh, if you have any questions, you can contact us, uh, go through trafera.com. You'll be able to find us and shoot us a note and let us know how we can help you further. In the meantime, have a great week, everyone. Thanks.